Hello, my YouTube friends. Happy last day of 2020. Thank God. Not that probably it's going to get better immediately, but um, I have hope. This is the last day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elizabeth, Finding Elizabeth, Bariatric Badass, Liz, whatever you want to call me. I don't care. I um, had vertical sleeve gastrectomy in April of 2014. I maintained about a hundred and 165 and 170 pound loss for, you know, after that first year, pretty much some ebbs and flows, but like 165, 170 is where I sort of stayed at in terms of my weight loss. Last time I came to you guys, I told you I was getting ready to have plastic surgery, which I did, which is amazing, which I can't even believe it. Um, I am, I had my plastic surgery on December 7th, so that's what, it was three weeks Monday, it'll be a month. It'll be a month this coming Monday when I have to go back to work, which I do not want to do, because because not working and doing whatever you want to do all day is kind of nice. Except I need to start playing the lottery if that's what I intend to do. So I had, um, once everything heals up a little bit more, I'll show you guys like before and after and stuff. But um, I had an extended, extended abdominoplasty, a breast lift and implants. They took out 22 pounds of skin. Two, two. I don't know if I've heard anybody who's had more than that. I don't want to be the winner on the amount of skin by any means, but I was just really shocked by that number. I thought it was going to be, because one, not Dr. Katzen, but a different surgery surgeon had told me he thought it would be about 13 pounds. 22 pounds gone. I have a flat ass stomach for the first time in my life very weird. Today is like my first day out doing actual errands because I have, uh, I didn't see my son over Christmas. So he and his girlfriend are coming up tomorrow. So I need to go buy some presents because I have done none Christmas things. Um, but like this shirt I would never have worn before. Um, because it's, I don't know why I bought it. Knowing this, I must not have tried it on, but it's not cropped, but it's very short. And I would have never worn that before because that bottom part of my stomach would be sticking out. And so not only am I wearing it, but I'm wearing it with fucking, sorry, if children are listening, I'm an F word girl. I'm wearing it with leggings and I have a flat stomach. So weird, so weird. And I gotta tell you, my breasts, my breasts look amazing. I think they look perfect. I don't know. Very few other people have seen them, but I'm just look at the mirror and say, whose body did they stick this head onto? Because what? That's what I do. Um, so I had um, Dr. Katzen in Beverly Hills was my surgeon. He's done a lot of people in the weight loss surgery communities, uh, surgeries and goes to most of the conference. He did my friend Patty's surgery. He did banded Wendy surgery. He, I mean, there, I'm sure there's a million people that I'm not thinking of right now that he did. Um, I was not nervous. I just, there was a place where it just shifted for me. I wasn't nervous about getting surgery. I was just like, let's get this over. The anesthesiologist called me the night before just to go over things. And um, at the end, he's like, yeah, you'll do fine. I'm like, yeah, I know I'll do fine. I just have to lay there. You guys <laughs> need to do fine. <laughs> and um, so I went to the surgery center. They knocked me out before I even hit the operating room. And I woke up, I don't know, eight or 10 hours later, getting ready to go to the, um, the, recovery center where I stayed for one night. Um, the first week is a blur. I stayed with my sister and was fairly out of it. 
Um, I came home, well, I guess I stayed at my sister's a week and a half because I came home two weeks ago today. Um, and have just been sort of taking it easy. I, my, one of my drains fell out yesterday. So we're waiting to see what's gonna happen there. And I go in to um, see Dr. Katzen on Monday. We can see about that. But all I gotta say is it was, the pain was mu much less intense than I had been afraid of. It was a much easier, the recovery was, I mean, I'm tired. I'm still very tired. And I have been pretty much sitting on my ass because I thought that's what they told me to do, but then come to find out, maybe I was mistaken. Um, so I'm a little tired, but I've been taking, when I need painkiller, I've been taking Tylenol um, since like the first, since I came home from my sisters. I didn't really, unless I was really hurting before I went to bed, I wouldn't just take Tylenol. Um, it's amazing. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it if you're at a place where you, because this is what I kept trying to do. I kept trying to get back down to my lowest weight. And it just wasn't happening. And it wasn't going to happen. And finally, I was just like, fuck it. I look at this plastics part as the end to this. Wrapping it up with a lovely little bow. And I'm never going to get back down to that weight. So I'm. am I going to completely just say I never finished this and I was a failure because I'm not going to get plastic surgery because I'm not going to get down to my lowest weight and I decided no that wasn't what I was going to do and it's so funny because once I decided that it all just came together the money came together the fact of the timing of it because of work came together it was just amazing and I want to give a big gigantic huge thank you to my tribe um, Patty, Gracie, Tanya, Sarah, Amy, Lindsay, Jennifer, Lindley. I better not be missing anybody. Tanya, I think I don't. I don't think I'm missing anybody. And my, and my non-weight loss surgery team member Dan has also been super helpful and my family and all the things. I One of the things I was scared about this was that I was gonna be doing it alone, but there was at no point during this where I felt alone. Even though all the plans at the last minute for how this was gonna go changed. <laughs> like the Saturday, the Saturday before my Monday surgery, I had to come up with new plans of where to stay, but it was fine. Mm. All right, so I just wanted to check in and say that I haven't um, haven't weighed in about a week, but when I weighed last time, so they took out 22 pounds, they gave me boobs, and so I was down, last time I checked, when I first came home from being my sister's, I was down 16 pounds from when I left to have surgery, now I'm down 18 pounds. So, that's good. And... I just say, if you're at a place where you're stable and you don't think you're going to get any lower and you can afford to do it, I would do it because it changes everything. Well, so I say, sitting in my living room forever, but it's just, it's incredible. It's like, this is the body that I never, ever in a million years thought I would have. And yeah, it's still a little fluffy, but it's pretty rocking. Love you guys. If you have any thoughts on things that helps you with healing, post plastics let me know and leave a message and merry christmas and happy new year and yay to 2020 being gone bye 2020